Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll show you how to create VLAN interface on our Mikrotik router, then how to set up hotspot on our VLAN interface. Then later in this video, I will also set up VLAN on our bridge interface to demonstrate that our setup works. So let's get started. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to go to interfaces, VLAN, then create a VLAN. Let's name it, for example, guest. Give it a VLAN ID of 100. And I am selecting the interface to be bridge because I am going to run the VLAN on our bridge interface. But obviously, you can choose any interfaces or interface you want. Now we need to give it an IP address. Let's give it a 192.168.10.1. Guest. Apply. Okay. Now before we move to hotspot, first we need to set up a DHCP server on our VLAN interface so that our client can get an IP address from it. Let's go to DHCP setup. DHCP setup. Server interface, guest, next, next. Now, next, what do we have to do is obviously create our hotspot server. Let's go setup, get VLAN. We don't have a certificate right now, but if you want, you can create a certificate for your hotspot setup. DNS server, I'll use log player. DNS name, I will give it like for example soft.inet, you can give it anything, for example alex.inet, alex.net, alex.internet, alex. anything you like, okay? So, admin, admin. Now next we will turn on VLAN filtering. But before we do that, this is also our management interface. So, I don't lose my uh, management access to my router OS. I need to add the VLAN interface to our LAN interface. Let's go to interfaces, interface list, guest, LAN. This is completely unnecessary and not needed, but I am doing this anyways. So next, what we have to do is go to bridge, VLANs, create a new VLAN, create a VLAN ID of 100 because we use that and the tag port will be our bridge interface and untagged port will be the interface that you want to run the VLAN, the hotspot VLAN on. So for me, it's ether5. Let's go. Now, before we turn on VLAN filtering, what we need to do is that we need to go to ports, ether5, VLAN and give it a PV ID of 100. Now let's go to bridge. VLAN filtering and now turn it on. So I can see right now we have an IP address of 192.168.88.101. We need to renew our DSCP lease. For that, I will use the following commands. So if we have set up also, oh, we already got it. So we got, as you can see, we got an IP address of 192.168.10.254. Now to test if our hotspots interface is working or not, we need to go to solver.ins. Oh, ta-da, it's working. So now let's log in. As you can see right now, we don't have access to the internet, but the moment I log in, I will get access. So that's it. Thanks of thanks for watching and subscribe.